chronicling the lives of a diverse group of residents on Auckland's iconic Dominion Road. Now, to tell us more about the show, please welcome to the cafe two of the stars, Jackie Clark and Brady Pearcy, and musical director and vocal coach Levina Williams. Good morning, guys. Oh, Good what morning. a stellar lineup! Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So so lovely. So Dominion Road, the musical. I want to do this with my hands. I don't know why. Well, jazz, jazz hands, hands kind yeah. of creep into everything. We don't do many jazz hands in the show. Right. Right. So we need to put them. That's a whole. Yeah. Yeah. Make, make, yeah. Can you change yeah. it up for us? So tell us, Jackie, what's it all about? Well, it's about the wonderful community that exists around that iconic road we know and love. I mean, most people just dip in and out of it for the noodles and the dumplings, but mm. there's a whole lot of people that have made their home there, and it's probably the most diverse community in in Auckland and mm. so um, it's inspired a lot of people, Don McGlashan amongst them and, well, and our wonderful creatives as well. As you're, as you're at the top of Dominion Road at the lights and you do see it bending under its, under its own way, yeah. I drive home that way frequently. Oh, terrific. It, and, and Let me find see... another way. <laughs> yeah. Don't road. confuse it. <laughs> when this fleecy makes it home, Good the road she follows. <laughs> um, uh, is there a specific moment uh, you know, of time that this musical is set in, Brady? Because I think is it about the residents there fighting the cause when it wanted to become sort of Chinatown? Yeah, yeah. So a few, I'm not too sure how long ago, but a few years ago they were, and um, the council were wanting to turn it into a Chinatown and um, our fabulous writer, Renee Li Liang. Sorry, Renee, I love you! <laughs> <laughs> and she, um, yeah, she wrote that because she was highly against it and she was very passionate that it, doesn't need to be labelled that because right. in a way it already is. Well, that's mm. right, yeah. 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 So that, and yeah. so much more, actually. It's just so diverse. I mean, there's all sorts of new ways of communities ending up right there as well. So just to sort of, sort of pigeonhole something like, in mm. that way is not, not helpful, really, and not no, accurate. No, mm. no. Mm. Now, Lavina, you are the musical director. Yes. How on earth do you sort of, like, get this rabble together and actually make, make, <laughs> make sense? What? 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 She what? What? She <laughs> no, actually, um, it is an honour to be a part of a New Zealand written, based in Dominion Road musical because I've been a part of musicals all my life and overseas and, you know, international, um, The Lion King yeah. and, and all of this other stuff. But coming back here and giving back, you know, giving back to my people and like what Jackie said, working with diverse eth ethnicities yeah. and um, also working with these guys, they've got massive voices. So it's very easy for me to, you know, mould it into the sound that um, Renee Liang and Jumbin uh, Lee put together for the show. So I'm very excited for everybody to see. Mm. And what sort of music is in it? Is it as diverse as the characters? Yeah. Absolutely. Crazy dance. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's a jungle Ooh. gym of different types of music. Like yeah. you, you've got a spoken word, you've got rap, you've got jazz, you've got, it's, yeah, there's no, you can't label this show one that's thing. Right. Oh, that's yeah. good, something for everyone. And well, yeah. there are five main characters, one, an, an Indian gentleman, a Maori gentleman, sounds like a joke, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> a Sri Lankan <laughs> woman, a Chinese man, and um, a, a Palagi, you know, so so each each main character has a, a musical style that reflects where they come from on the street, and it's yeah. um it's a beautiful mashup. Yeah. Okay, so Jackie, who do you play? I am the token Pakeha. Get right. So what's, your, so what's your musical <laughs> genre then? Well, she, uh, my character Alison runs the local vegetarian cafe, and she spends a lot of time reminiscing about the old days in Dominion Road when it wasn't quite so diverse. If you get my drift. <laughs> so a lot of my songs are sort of more in a nostalgic vein, but I have. A really interesting relationship with the uh, the Indian restaurant owner across the road. It's a bit of a love hate thing. So I have, we have a lot of duets, which are basically sparring matches. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's it's beyond a musical genre. It's more like um, world WW1 wrestling kind of. Uh, Eth, Excellent. Yeah. I can see you. God, I wouldn't take you on. That's yeah, sure. hi mate. Be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this is the great thing about this, um, Brady. I mean, well, just to quickly explain your character, and then I want to ask you something else. But yes. Who's your character? I play Stevie. Yes. So he is the um, the council member that has constructed this idea to turn it into Dominion Road. All right. So okay. He, right, you're he, the villain. Yeah. Are you the villain? <laughs> no, he's he's. Yeah. Is he good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little bit misguided. Yeah. Yeah. Misguided. Yeah. Yes, no, that's perfect. Yeah. No, I, I, you know, what I love about this too is that I guess when you look at the people that are behind the scenes, your writer, your, you know, the musical director, they're all from different ethnicities as yeah. well. Is that a great reflection of the flavour of the show? Well, that's yeah. the flavour of Auckland. Right. That's the flavour of this great city we live in. And that's we have right. to actually recognise yeah. that when we say we in Auckland, we are 
encompassing a whole lot of different cultures. And mm. I think a lot of people just assume the we is one or two cultures, and mm. it's not. It's nice. just it's a big, beautiful jumble of, of flavour in there. Do you talk about actual restaurants on Dominion Road? Uh, uh, do Barilla dumplings get a, get a mention? <laughs> oh, yes. Iconic? Do they? Funnily they do enough, they do. Oh, they do. Hello. Yes. Mm -hmm. OK. Um, yes. Everything's all about yes. it. One of the mm -hmm. joys of being in this cast is we're being supported by the Dom Dominion Road Business Commission. Oh, oh. we're getting and so fed. We yeah. get fed. Quite, quite. We, we get, we get <laughs> fed <laughs> by... Um, Love a Duck. Love a Duck. Oh, yeah. Love Kitchen, on um, Love a Duck. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. Malaysia restaurant that's been feeding us. And In fact, we better get the show on quickly because we're all expanding. It's an expanding industry. It's a beautiful... You know, people are really behind the show. And when we go, is it a roller coaster of emotions? Are we going to laugh through it? Are we going to cry through it? Are we going to leave thinking that was a little bit political? Or is it everything? All, all of the above. All of the okay. It's a melting pot of everything, honey. It's right. amazing. You'll Just love like it. Just like Dominion Road. What sort of age group are we talking? Are we talking kids as well? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah it's, yeah. it's yeah. It's a show that anybody could come and watch and get something from it. Um, we have had kids run through our rehearsal space and they <laughs> are a little bit fixated on it. So, you know, yeah, anyone's open to coming to the show. Nine to yeah. 90. Come on, bring it on. Nine Excellent. to 90, there you go. And the great thing is, too, is that, as you said, Lavina, right at the start, there's not that many musicals that have been done in New Zealand that that's have been right. originated that's from right. here, have they? Yeah. yeah, that's why it's a proud moment for all of us. You've mm. been a really, you've done a lot of stuff overseas, haven't you, Lavina? How long have you yeah. been back in New Zealand for? Mm, this is my fourth year. Well, wow, because yeah, I was, because you were, apart from doing all the musicals and stuff, you were actually in Germany for a while working on the pop stars TV show, yeah, writing so and producing I was, their music. Yeah, I was um, a vocal uh, coach and writing songs for some of the pop stars in Germany. How, do you get, how, how yeah. does that suddenly pop up for you? I mean, well, because I did The Lion King for one year, and then while that was going, I was networking as well, because coming from New Zealand, such a small market, yeah. and having to move yeah. over to this big country and a lot of opportunities, so I had to get my hands in everything. And then, you know, word got out that I could sing, and I was an islander. They could never place me, because I was this brown girl in Germany. And <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, so that's how I got that job, and working with the people um, backstage. For that must be fascinating. Journey. Yeah, it was crazy. And, Brady, yeah. while we're on that subject, um, you know, last time you were in here, you are off to do a show. How, how, yes. how did that go? Um, really well, really well. We got a lot of support from Auckland um, when we did our Auckland season, because we also went to Wellington Larger and than life. North. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so... Um, Yes, no, that won't be the last time you see us. We've got some plans in the works to take it on tour next year. Excellent. Nice. Yeah. And Jackie, let's oh, know. Yes. Sorry, <laughs> just kidding. We know we've run out of time to find out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm it. just joking. <laughs> so you've got the show, then what's next? What's after this? Do you know? Um, next, I'm winging my way to Tauranga to do a, uh, an event called Tarnished Frocks and Deeds. <gasps> oh, and oh, you yes. were brilliant at that. Oh, oh, all my friends were coming in. Yes, it's just, it's the most amazing that thing. Amazing. Like, the entire cast is all women over 40 doing something they have haven't done before. It's a, basically a fashion catwalk show, but there's musical performance elements and there's a theatrical narrative that goes through it. It's grown in 12 years from a tiny little show in a warehouse to a five-night arena. Wow. Spectacular. Yeah. Yeah. I've so been there from the beginning, cool. so I'm really amazing. happy to be there. Yeah, excellent. so we're looking at Tarnished Frocks and yeah. Divas. Go and hunt that out and go and see that. It looks amazing. Thank you so much, team. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. really excited about this musical. I think it's great. I'll be there. Dominion Road, the musical opens at the Playhouse Theatre Glen Eden on August the 9th. For tickets and details, you can head along to dominionroadthemusical.nz. Um, now, to play us out, here we have Jackie, Brady and Lavina with Diversity Super City from Dominion Road, the musical. Yeah. I'm a child of the street, born at 143, right where the laundry used to be. I've seen the changes, I felt the mood. This neighborhood needs to step up and improve. My parents worked their five till nine, and I did my time chopping onions, sweeping floors. But I could write and I could speak. I knew that I could achieve more. With a scholarship for brown people, I got to go to university. Got a degree in sociology. Instead of working in the supermarket, say I'm beating the streets, helping those in need can see what needs to change. Diversity. Marketing.
No upgrades. There's puddles on the street and the parking is stink. Yeah, the parking is eh. We need to bring property back to this road. Do up the facade and let the businesses grow. Development, investment, elevate this basic to a destination status. Hey, hey, hey.